in our last talk show, I ask you if a home seller should hire an agent or sell his home by himself, or you respond to me that uh, he or she can sell by himself, by, but the thing is to hire an agent who knows very well uh, the process. So I just want to ask you the same question. Should home buyer hire an agent or buy by himself? When it comes to buying house, oh, excuse me, especially when you first time home buyer, mm -hmm. it is very important that you go with an agent. Mm -hmm. Because the process of buying a home is very, very complex and there's a lot of steps that you have to. So when you're buying a home, it's not yeah. just about finding the home that you want to buy and just get into there and just say, yes. oh, seller, I like your home, G mm -hmm. give me the keys. Yes. So <laughs> the process is long and complex. It's good to have a professional that does that for a living that, will, that know the process, know the market, can mm -hmm. help you find the kind of home you want. It's usually be most much better yeah. for you to go with an agent. Yeah. An agent that knows the, the, your local yeah, well, market mm -hmm. that can guide you through the buying process. Okay. All right. That's very really good. So as a home buyer consultant, how do you handle the negotiation when it comes to buying a home? So when it comes to buying a home, personally, I, I, have a, a, I have a different set. The first thing we do when I'm uh, helping somebody buy a home is yeah. we sit down and we evaluate the need. We evaluate where they are financially, mm -hmm. what kind of commitment they want, yeah. they want to, what kind of home they're looking for. So from there, we look for what is the best, the best thing for them. Yeah. And we try to find that in the market and we try to negotiate our way okay. to getting them a, the best deal possible for that First, the amount of money they want, the kind of home they want, yeah. and all that minutes if possible. So we try to look in the okay. market for what fit yeah. them. Okay, that's very good. So what should home buyer do or shouldn't do when it comes to his home buying? So uh, there's a lot of do and don't, and mm -hmm. that's why I put a lot of them in the book. Yeah. Uh, this a lot of mistake that happen when you buying home. Oh, yeah. So. First, you have to select your, the, the person you're going to work with wisely. You yeah. have to select somebody that will communicate and educate you through the process. Mm -hmm. Because, as I said, mentioned earlier, it's a complicated process. Yeah. So having somebody that can educate you and teach you and tell you where you are yeah. and how, what is next mm -hmm. is usually the best thing. Okay. And um, so when you're buying, the do is usually, the do is simple. Get somebody that can Knows, help you. Yeah. Especially if you're the first time home, home buyer, buyer. Okay. get somebody that can help you. Get it fast before yeah. you even start the process. Get somebody that can help you. It will help you go through the pre-approval. Yeah. It will get you finding the home. It will help you. Um, pull it, um, it will help you through the whole process. Okay. So and what people usually do is sometimes they um, they put themselves too short of a time to find a home. Mm -hmm. For example, they say, okay, in the next week or in the next two weeks, I want to find a home that I'm going to get in. I want to buy a home okay. in a month. They already, if they're renting, they already uh, call the landlord and say, okay, yeah. I'm out of this house in two weeks or in a month yeah. without understanding the process, process. that it takes actually to actually get a home. Yeah. It, when somebody don't, doesn't do that, yeah. that research prior starting the process is usually, you get, it gets frustration, yeah. they, they, they realize. The, so that's what actually why I wrote the book, mm -hmm. mostly so yeah. that people can I, understand I, I read, yeah, the do of, and the don't, don't. Yeah. so that they don't really, they don't make mistakes and yeah. they get the most out of the money. Okay. The, the money that you invest is a big purchase. You should get the most out of the money that you invest. Okay. So when I was doing my research to uh, come to this uh, talk show, I found that people have difficulty to find a good agent. Yep. And uh, some of the advice they give to them is to hire uh, an agent with full-time agents versus part-time agents. So yep. what do you think about this? You, again, you should hire somebody that is professional. Mm -hmm. That is somebody that does that, that understand it, that read about it, that yep. live for it. Mm -hmm. You should not hire somebody that that really does that only one day a week or two days yeah. a week. Because first, they're going to be hard to contact. They're going to mm -hmm. be hard to, they're not going to follow the process 
like they're not gonna be with you step by step. Yeah. Somebody that does that daily will always be there. Will always be aware of what's going on in the market. Okay. Will always be aware of what is around the corner. He will yeah. be able to prepare you. He will be able to find a home as soon as the home hit the mm -hmm. market. He will yeah. be away and he can alert you right away. You can you know you can view more home faster. You mm -hmm. can you know. It will ease you through the process if you work with, some, with an expert, somebody that knows okay. what he's doing. So let's say I'm living in New York, yep. and then you are in Massachusetts, yep. and I want to buy a home in New York. Yep. And then I know that you have more experience yep. than somebody who's living in New York. Yep. And I have a consultant here, he lives in New York, but he doesn't have the experience that you have. So uh, between two of you, so... Mm -hmm. Do you recommend me to hire somebody so, who's living in New York, where I'm living, and then with few experience, or somebody like you who have more experience? But first and of all, live out of New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you you always work with a local agent. Mm -hmm. It's always work with local agent. But um, most people, most good real estate agent have a network of people that they work with. Mm -hmm. Like if you contact me in. If you are in any state and you contact me, yeah. it's likely that I have a, I have a network, somebody yeah. that I know that yeah, works there that okay. I can refer you to. That okay, mm -hmm. go talk to this person yeah. because good people, good agent agent kind of know each other. They yeah. know who is best in that area. That's so true. if you contact me and you are, let's say in New York, okay. I can say okay, I know this person that yeah. I trust that is good in mm -hmm. New York that can help you, help you buy or sell your home. Okay, that's usually I. Okay, that's yeah. very good, very good. But one of the most important things during the home buying process is closing. Yeah. What are the things a home buyer must know if he or she is closing a home deal for the first time? Oh, <laughs> if you have got a good agent, you yeah. can relax. Yeah. But usually, mm -hmm. it's very, it's a very stressful time. Yeah. Uh, it, um, but it's a process. Mm -hmm. the, the home buy, the home buyer should know it's a process. Uh, it's not made for uh, for it to be. Uh, it's made for you. For, it's just a close. It's just a process. Yeah. Take time. It take mm -hmm. the, the the time. It take the work. Yeah. But you should just work with the agent, with your agent, and let him guide you through yes. the process. Mm -hmm. Work with his advice. Okay. But uh, there's some few things that are usually uh, very important for home buyer to know. A thing like title search, mm -hmm. they must make sure yeah. that they, they are there. They mm -hmm. do the title search mm -hmm. and they have the title insurance. Okay. They should make sure that um, when it when it comes to closing, they have the the, um, the inspection was yeah. done properly, and they, they whatever was found with the inspection mm -hmm. got fixed, yeah. or they had to deal with that. Okay. So there's a lot of thing that goes into closing, yeah. which. Before you reach the closing table, your agent should be working with yeah. you to mm -hmm. help you go through all most of that. Okay, all right. So, what are closing costs when buying a home? Yeah. So the closing cost also is uh, is de it depend it depend on what mm -hmm. state you buying the home in and how much the house is, what yeah. the tax uh, sale in the place. So the whole uh, closing cost depend on what area you are. Yeah. Depend on what state. What okay. state you are. So yes. it, it depends like uh, New York versus uh, Massachusetts. Yeah, it will be different. Uh, it will not, okay. not be all. It will not be okay. the exact same. And part. because me, I will look at the home that have a big price. It depend on how the renovation and everything. So yep. now that you talk about the place, mm -hmm. so what about if this I have a nice house yep. versus whole house? And then the place of the nice house is uh, like, let's say, in Connecticut. Mm. And then the whole house is in New York. So, and then the price of the whole house in New York is higher than the price of the whole house, uh, n nice house in uh, Connecticut. So, the price of the house depends on many things. It depends mm -hmm. on the state, as yeah. I mentioned. It depends on where you buy in the house, how the market in, yeah, in that in area, that area are. is. Okay. So, it's usually like that. Your house is is sold in comparison to the other house around the area. Okay. So, the value of your house depends not only on the on renovation the that you have made, made. inside, okay. but also on the neighborhood the, where it is okay. in and the price value of the home in your area okay so it could be bigger than another 
it can be like a house in New York yeah. can be smaller than yeah. a house in Connecticut, but mm -hmm. more more than a house in Connecticut. That's what I want to know. Depending on yeah. the neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. that's very good. Now that the closing process is done and the first time home buyer, buyer want to move in his or her house, so what advice do you have for them, such as moving tips? The moving tip, uh, usually the moving thing, I give moving tip customized to the client. When a client have like um, a lot of, uh, like a, a moving with a lot of mm -hmm. thing already, I would always recommend to get with a local um, mover. Yeah. Go with a local mover yeah. because they usually, if you work with a good moving agency, they can yeah. properly package yeah. and help you package your uh, your yeah. things yeah. so that you have less loss and less broken thing mm -hmm. as you move to the next to your new home. Okay. And but also if you don't have that much furniture, you yeah. get you can just get your your home. Yeah. Put your uh, package yourself. Okay. So in the book, I have a section where I give a lot yeah, of tips tip, on. Yeah. <laughs> on how to move yes. like the process mm -hmm. from from beginning to, to end, end yeah. so that you don't miss uh, you don't misplace stuff so yeah. the packing and the unpacking can be easier because okay. when you go to your home you don't want to be stress stressing on the first those okay. first week looking for stuff in your home okay. when you properly label and properly pack your mm -hmm. uh, uh, all your furniture everything mm -hmm. when you get to your new place it's easier you know where things are okay that's good so, uh, Mr. Baka, we are at the end of our show. Can you give to our viewer your contact information, uh, such sure. as email, phone number, or social media? Sure. Uh, my phone number is 347-579-5230. Mm -hmm. I respond to that line almost any time of day. Okay. Uh, if I don't want to leave my voicemail, I will contact you as soon as possible. Okay. The email is syncedbackup at kw.com. And... My social media, same backup, is my social media, yeah. same backup, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram uh, Twitter, Twitter okay. LinkedIn, they're okay. all same. That's, That's my good. first and last name. Okay, so what's your last word? So I'm very <laughs> thankful for yeah. you inviting me again to Thank the show. You so much. It's, a it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure <laughs> yeah. to come here and see you. Mm -hmm. That's very good. So I know uh, you have, now that you have a new book, yep. maybe in two months you will be here. Work. So I'm going to read your book and see what we can do. Oh, sure. Yeah, It'll be a pleasure for, to, to be invite back. you for next show. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's show. I'd like to thank our guests for joining us. Okay. And, of course, you, our viewer, for tuning in. You can watch this episode on February 6th on BronzeNet TV channel 69 Optimum or FIOs. Channel 35 at 9 p.m. You can also watch anytime on Awesome Africa TV website at www.awesomeafricatv.net. Thank you. Ce que ça